Wow, and a genuine thank you to all of you who watched the last couple of videos and subscribed to the channel. It's just amazing to see all that. And we've got a lot of ideas of what we're going to talk about on this channel, about the boat, about Megan's sewing and sewing room, navigation, weather, maybe even some vlogs of our travels. So thank you again for subscribing. We thought we'd kick off kind of the getting to know us and the boat with a boat tour. And stay tuned, there's more to come. I think at first we were a little turned off by the idea of a charter boat, but it, in a way it makes so much sense because, okay, they put a hundred of these into charter, or I don't know how many put, they put into charter per year, and then when the charter guests are done with their week, they have like a feedback card, and so they're giving feedback on the design every year. So Leopard then incorporates those design changes. Mm. And so the boat just kind of gets better and better and better based on people's use. That cockpit. Oh my God, that's what I fell in love with, with this boat, was that cockpit. There's other configurations that are pretty nice, but yeah, this is great. This is where we spend most of our time and there's lots of places to lounge. What's the most we've had on this boat? I think there have been like 11. And like we all sat around the table and played cards. Uh, pretty easy to make a custom tablecloth. Megan made these really cool all-purpose pillows. Highly recommend something like this that's got a nice sturdy back and then a soft face. The sun protection in here is excellent. You gotta have shade and this boat has a full cockpit shade cover that's rolled up and stowed underneath the cabin top. So this is our outdoor living space, our outdoor living room. Come on inside to our indoor living room. This is where we spend a lot of time and we have meals here or we work on our laptops, but basically this is our indoor living space and it's gone through quite an evolution since we, we got it, but we love spending time in here. We also have a huge screen that we put up and watch movies. We have a projector and we basically can go to the movies and it's just a great space. All right, so this area has gone through a bit of an evolution. We put the standard table that comes with this boat into storage, made this other table, which is smaller, serves the function that we need. And then we built, I guess what you call an ottoman. Underway and when we are offshore and we're taking shifts at the helm, one of us is typically kind of laid out in here and sleeping. And underneath here, at the ready, is our ditch bag, our ditch box. And in here we've got survival equipment, another VHF radio, water, that sort of thing. So in an emergency, we grab the EPIRB, grab this, the life raft, and we're out. So this is my culinary masterpiece studio. This is where I have learned how to cook actually because I can't go out to eat. Last season we ate out seven times in six months. This season not even once. So I love this little area. There's tons of storage, food, dishes. This is just your regular utility cupboard and then we've got a propane stove and lots of storage here. And basically the soda stream we use all the time for drinks, making hot water and our Blendtec blender. This is our popcorn maker. <laughs> and little caddy for our silverware, coffee. I made this little holder. This is our drying rack that drains overboard. So it makes dishes really simple. What I really love about this galley and just catamarans in general is that I feel like I can be serving, cooking, and I'm right in the center of everything. So this is so simple to do everything right here. What's really cool about this helm position is not completely cut off from the cockpit and the galley area. It's just down these three steps. You're separate and above. You can control the sails and you can do all your navigation from up here. There's just two primary winches and then one small winch for the main sheet traveler. But between these two winches, four clutches, you can control both the jib or the spinnaker and the mainsail. So the mainsail is going to be on your windward winch and your jib or your spinnaker is going to be on the leeward winch. Uh, it's really not that hard to control. Got uh, engine controls for the Yammers right at your fingertips. And as I mentioned in the previous video, we replaced all of the instruments, all the electronics before. So we've got a 95 truck plotter. 
you can see the AIS targets. It's a separate Vesper, uh, Vesper Marine AIS. Uh, this broadcast via Wi-Fi. It's nice to have something separate from Ray Marine. I have a display that can be customized. We replaced the autopilot. It's got an EV1 and the old wind instruments. We got rid of that, and now we have an I-60. And all these are interface on SeaTalk NG networks. So they're all talking to each other. In a lot of places, these charts are actually better than the Ray Marine charts. And now that's Garmin, the Garmin app, and I've also got iNav X. Visibility is really, really good from up here, which makes navigating in the shallow waters a lot easier. On a rainy day, we've got the full enclosure, so it's actually pretty comfortable, even when it's windy or chilly. Just looking at the weather again. Looks like things are settling down. It's still raining here and there. This is the nav station. It's pretty basic. It's a forward-facing nav station, which is a lot better than having a rearward-facing one. It's somewhat cobbled together, but everything's functional. Stereo. This is the water maker control. This is where we can do back flush and storage and turn off and on. This is the Iridium Go, the satellite connection. And this is the Victron Energy battery monitor. State of charge is 47%. Uh, I think you maybe heard from the last video, we have 900 amp hours. So that is still plenty of juice. And we've got an analog display for our wind generator, which I turned off so that it didn't make noise while we were recording. The iPad, you can do so much with an iPad now. You can navigate with these things. This has got all of our charts. We've got three iPads on board that each have two charting software programs on them. You can control all of the chart plotter functions from down here. This is just like a repeater and it's an iPad. It's called Ray Control, that's the app. So if we wanted to check out the radar, you can load that up. You can also control the autopilot from here. So that's it for the nav station. So these are our circuit breakers, both DC and the AC side. This is a 12 volt system. Get much bigger than this and it's a usually a 24 volt system. We've got one of the charge controllers here. There's two on board, three air conditioners, and then we've got a generator, two short power plugs, and uh, this is the distribution for the AC. Refrigerators down here. We've got a freezer and a fridge. They have independent compressors. So there's some backup there in case one of them failed. Oh, we've also got one more fridge outside. So the starboard side is kind of like our owner's side. Aft is our stateroom, and forward we converted into the sewing studio. Hey, welcome to my dedicated sewing room. This is my Ultrafeed uh, Zigzag LSZ-1 Sailrite, and I can use sails, canvas work, cushions, anything with this machine. Had it for 15 years, 16 years. <laughs> and it's been across the world and cross country. For sure, hands down, the hardest thing I've ever did with this machine was a full boat cover for our 46 foot monohull. Did it in Mexico, on the docks, in the hotel room, over three different trips. But overall, I've probably sewn like 50 cushions for our boats, some other boats, pillows, sails. We repaired a sail with this, the whole left tape. So this is a great machine and I see it lasting another 10 years, 15 years, no problem. This one I just got before we left and I love it. It's perfect for any kind of clothing or any home projects, little things, curtains. I've done all the curtains in our, our boat along with a lot of other things that I'll, I think I'll share in a different video. We built these shelves and Nick did an excellent job but kind of blending them. What's nice is if we had a full boat, we could easily store this stuff under here, put the mattress back on, and you could still sleep in here. The shelves wouldn't be a problem. But in the meantime, I am loving having my own space. I can leave it dirty if I want. It's out of the way and just come in here, do a little bit of sewing, and shut the door. Instead, in the past, I had it all up in the front and I'd carry everything out and it would get thread everywhere. So this is a major upgrade. So we were used to king size beds and so we removed the little nightstands on each side here and then extended the foot and built out this cutout that was on each side and we basically have a king size bed again. Okay, so this looks like maybe a simple job, but it actually was quite involved because we had to get new plywood, finish it, make it look perfect. We had to get this made by a special mill 
and then varnished it to match and Nick did a, an awesome job. Oh, you helped too. From I what did I remember. help. <laughs> you did a lot of varnishing yourself. But piece of wood goes all the way back and yeah. it was really a big job. No, I think this is a huge improvement. Who doesn't want a king size bed? Who needs these cutouts to step up? Exactly. Like it's great storage and it still is, but I mean, come on, who doesn't want to spread their legs? <laughs> Well, on the port side, I guess we consider this kind of our guest hall. Aft, there is a bathroom and shower. And this is mostly just a storage room. Underneath the bed here, there's lots and lots of storage. And then aft, there are the fuel tanks. Uh, forward would be another guest room. Again. Bathroom and shower. So instead of showing you each of the four heads, the four bathrooms, I'll just show you one. Once you get to this size boat, you don't have to deal with having a wet head anymore. At about 46 feet, you get to have a separate shower, which is really, really nice because on smaller boats, essentially you end up showering on the toilet or close to it. So you have a, a, a wet basin that you got to dry out each time. Really fairly basic and there's four of these on the boat. So each cabin has its own en suite. Very nice. They're macerator toilets. Um, they're electric. Before we bought this boat, I had never had an electric head. I was skeptical, but knock on wood, they seem to work really, really well. This is more or less my room. Um, I come in here and can read, compose music, edit videos. Uh, so I do some music production and I also do voiceover work. I don't know, maybe you've heard some of my stuff on Audible. I can do voiceovers. This is my little voiceover booth. So I think I would call, I would call the cockpit. The cockpit is the front porch. Mm, yeah. And this, this I would call the back porch because this is where you play ball with the dog. That's in the backyard. Okay, this is the backyard, and that's the front porch because that's where everybody's coming by. Hey, what's going on? It's true. You entertain. Yeah, this is the backyard. This is the backyard. In fact, this is where sugar <laughs> pees and poops. The step things are multi, multi-functional, I guess. So they provide shade for those huge ass windows that we rebedded last year and they're also a nice lounging spot in fact there's so many flat surfaces up here i mean you can exercise you can play with the dog you can just plain lounge i just thought of another project we didn't include what new grommets oh that was a big one <laughs> what did we figure there's like 150 of these grommets and then this new dyneema line yeah that was a big project because we had to peel out the old grommets one by one with pliers and wow I forgot about that one everywhere you look there's another little project the window shades I forgot to <gasps> talk about the window oh shades oh my god you need an addendum I know all right there's another five thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> oh my god those are big ones who's that hello hello Thanks for joining us on this sail tour. It's a lot of fun showing you around our Leopard 46 Clarity. We could take this channel in a lot of different directions, so we really would love to have your feedback on what you'd like to see. We could do videos on sail handling, more on navigation. As I mentioned before, I'm a meteorologist, so we could talk about weather and weather forecasting. So really love to have your feedback and your comments. I also wanted to mention that Megan, my wife, has got her own channel, and she talks about her own projects and philosophy and stuff like that. You can either just do a YouTube search for Megan O'Kelly, and also put a little link in the description. All right, thanks for joining us. Thanks for subscribing, and take care. We'll see you soon.